Hey guys, it's Ellie from Elsie Bell's Bookshelf. Um, I am back again today to do a couple more tutorials. I thought I would do two in one video. Um, pretty easy though. So it's been just a crazy week. You know, I've been sick and now my husband has hurt his back. So he's in the hospital right now and missing days of work. So I'm trying to make up for that. So I apologize that these are taking a little bit longer to come out. Um, if you had didn't know already, I'm having a 40% off sale right now in my shop on everything except for the journal supplies. Those are actually 50% off. And I'm giving away some freebies. Uh, if you spend $20, you can get a free six pack of dyed papers, two rainbow colors, two um, you know general colors, and then two tea dyed, and there'll be like doily designs on those. And then, for every $30 you spend, 30 and over, you will get a free Autumn Traveler's Notebook. I actually have that right here. I'm so loud. Yeah, so and then the inside is just a bunch of beautiful Autumn papers, and there's some um, journal cards in there and stuff like that. And the first four people that tell me in the notes to seller that they purchased from someone else, actually the, first, the next three because somebody already did but if you tell me the notes to seller when you purchase from my shop that you purchased from another shop as part of small business September I will tuck one of these little tags in your package for free Yay! so there's those alright so let's get into this tutorial so first I'm gonna show you how to decoupage um, on the guest checks that I included in the kit with our napkin and actually I'm going to use a method that I learned from Fermita um, she has her own YouTube and I just love her she's super sweet so she showed us how to do this so this is what I'm going to do so first we need to remove all of the layers of the napkin there's the one I don't know if there's another layer or not I don't think so so it's just that layer hopefully all right, so on the guest check, I'm just going to pick a spot and just put a nice layer of my glue. And don't worry, this glue does dry clear, obviously, so we won't see it after everything is on. So let's say I just want to go like that. I'm just going to take on my napkin and lay that on there. You know, I wonder, is there another layer? How do you even get to it? A wheel. Okay. So, just do that. Then I'm going to take my glue stick and go over it where I glued before. And I'm just going to rip the napkin off. Maybe put a little extra piece on that. And I'm going to cut around the edges here. There we go. And then once it's dried, I can flatten it um, under a book or something. So, not a big deal that it's curling. Put a little piece there and you can also tear up the napkin and decoupage the pieces and I think I'll do that on the other guest check that would be cool okay so I'm gonna set that aside then I have this one and I'm gonna put some glue in some spots and then maybe tear some of this napkin this is total experimentation. I'm just giving you an idea of what you can do. You can also use Mod Podge. I don't know if I already said that, but you can. Um, and I have in the past, but I find that it's really sticky afterwards. Um, maybe it's just the one that I get. I don't know. But So there's a little piece there. And I like this idea from Fermita because it's, it seems easier then um, painting all the Mod Podge on. So then I do a little piece here. I can 
go over that. See how this comes out. I'll take this piece, put it down here on that glue. Okay, so now I'm going to set these both aside to dry. And I will show you what they look like later on. And get rid of this. You can save your pieces of napkin. This one's kind of ripped up. All right, so I have the cover that I made for my linen and leaves um, half journal kit before in the video. And it is upholstery fabric, and I used a 9x6 envelope that I coffee dyed inside and added some pockets and then I also stitched all around so what I wanted to do was some decorating on the cover and first I wanted to choose you know what hold on all right had to close the windows so I want to choose um, one of the word pieces that come in the kit there's actually three pages of these autumn words so how about I love autumn because it is autumn themed And normally I would probably put some stitching on here, but I don't have my machine down in the kitchen. So I'm just going to rip the edges. And then I decided to ink this part with black. It's just the um, black soot from Tim Holtz. There's that. And I also designed these with a piece of vintage, really old um, sheet music. It's like the cover. It had birds and, you know, other pretty things on it. My fingers are dyed. And then I did an overlay with um, the linen and leaves kit from Digital Curio. So these come in this kit, the um, linen and leaves half kit which is now actually 40% off. I think it's like seven bucks, so that is like a deal. And I really like how these came out. So I definitely want to use it. I'm just gonna put some ink on the edge, and you don't have to use black. It's just the color that I just picked for something a little bit different. And then I have some of the music paper that came in the kit. This is really old as well. It's very fragile, so I wouldn't recommend it as a page. But for collaging and things like that, it works just fine. So, no more ink. Let's see, what else do we have? We have these that came in the kit and some more words. Um... I don't know if I'm going to use anything else, so I'm going to take my little autumn thing there. So I'm going to take my little autumn page and a little piece of music. Okay, visitors. Anywho, so I'm going to take my music thing and my little page and put them together and then I think I'm just going to lay this on top like so and I like the way that looks so I'm going to glue it down I'm using my Aileen's clear tacky glue I love it especially for embellishments I've also started using it for covers when I make the hardcover journals and it works really well so I am happy with it and it's fairly inexpensive it's two dollars for this bottle so I'll have that there. And then we will do the music. And the I Love Autumn. So this would be really cute with some um, stitching, like orange stitching or something like that. 
um, some more ideas in some of the other autumn kits. You get two little leaves. You could put those on the cover as well. So there you go. So the purpose of the half kits is to encourage you to use bits and pieces from your stash, such as your scraps and, um, you know, whatever, stuff like that. Just things from your stash to fill out the journal. So I provide all the pages. I also provide a bunch of ephemera, some ledger tags, and um, the filler pages, the cover pieces, and things like that. So the rest can come from your stash. And I would really love to see what you guys create if you purchase these. So um, tag me on Facebook or um, Instagram. I'll have everything below. And I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch. And um, don't forget to go to my shop where everything is on sale. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.